Hello everyone, let's get started. So, first little exercise about how to cluster files in Grasshopper. Easy for you to work. So you see here I have a, let's say, a relatively clustered sketch with all my components in order to create this uh, distribution of Voronoi cells along a catenary curve. How I suggest you organize your files is in a very simple way by creating inputs and outputs. So for instance, and groups. So this one here, I would for instance group just like this. This is just to generate the Voronoi cell. And then here, this is everything that, that consists of my, uh, to, to generate the distribution of Voronoi cells. So what you could easily do is you could group this. By accident I put in the other group. So just this, group this, and the same here. And now you see here it's the orientation, here's the catenary curve. And one thing that I like to do is, you see here I introduced this geometry battery. Because this is my input. This is the only input that comes from another thing, as well as these two inputs. And then, does it have another input? Yes, it has here the geometry. This geometry from over here, which is basically the same as it is here. So you can copy that over here. So you just need to change here the input geometry and then your whole script will change. And then back here again, because this is the output. I mean, it might be clear to you guys, but uh, I would also recommend again to have here a geometry battery that really precisely tells you this is the output then. Same you could over do over here. So again, you laser geometry because again you see it goes two times into something first in here but then also in here so now I just need to change it in one point which makes it a little bit more uh, maybe modular or something like that I mean actually this one I'm not using anymore but then you see also this one here generates a plane which we do not really have in here yet so let's get a plane in here Place it over here, right click, add to group, and add to group, and change it here with the source. So now again you see how things become modularized somehow. And again for this simple one, yeah, let's for consistency, let's also do it. It gives us a geometry which we can here, here, and then we just this one. So yeah, you might say, okay, this these are quite a few extra batteries somehow, but I can only encourage you to to work your files like that because it will yeah, modularize your your work a little bit and also make it more clear that this is one step of your script, this is one some one part. And then this is another part. And then if you want to do something now with that geometry, uh, for instance, uh, you want to, I don't know, rotate it or somewhere, you just go over here and yeah, do that with this part. And then this is your new thing. And again, here I would do the same. Oops. Place it with this, add to this group, bring it in here. Yeah, which, I mean, again, in this case, doesn't make too much sense, but this is the way I would organize my script. And then if you, if you have more, if you want to color things or something like that to indicate a little bit more, you go like that. 
There are some people that tend to name these groups also, what it does. I recommend more go for a panel, just create a panel, and then if this is cotton, creating the cotton area. curve, just make it an extra panel, place it. This allows you now, you can place it wherever in this group, so you have more freedom. And you can even change the size of the figure. So it gives you a little bit more freedom. So to change the color maybe color, way more design freedom for you as uh, layout as well. I hope that was helpful uh, and yeah, please, please watch out with your grasshopper scripts to make them more readable for everyone. Thank you very much.